All right, I'm gonna show you the best way to teach long division using the best tool for teaching the best way to teach long division. So let's get started. And it is called uh, Mathagon. So you're gonna notice <clears throat> we are way up here. We are at Mathagon. And Mathagon is an unbelievably cool tool. You click on Mathagon, you go to Mathagon, and then the first thing you do is you click on Polypad way up in the upper right hand corner. You do not need to log in if you don't want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up tiles. I'm gonna open up my not numbers tray, and then I'm gonna go down here to additional tools, and I'm gonna drag over a place value chart. And oh, let's say we are going to do uh, four into, uh, let's do 579, and I'm intentionally creating spaces there on purpose. You'll see why in a little bit. Now, uh, the way I'm gonna create my that number, 539, is you think of these as your hundreds column, you think of this as your tens column, and you think of this as your ones column. And I'm going to just grab one of these dots. They're called exploding dots. Why are they called exploding dots? Because if I take this hundred, and move it into the 10, it explodes and I get 10 tens. And if I wanna take these 10 tens and move it back into the 100, all I have to do is click just one of those dots. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm gonna drag it over and it's gonna take all 10 of those tens and combine it back into a single 100. So if I were to have like this so that's 120 so it's I, I use that word and on purpose uh, so if I were to take this 10 and move it over here it's gonna explode and give me 10 ones I can move that one dot back and that gives me back it combines those ones back into the 10 tens I mean into a 10 those 10 ones become a 10 uh, then if I wanted to I could take this hundred move it over into the tens column, and that's gonna give me 10 tens, plus the original two, so now I have 12 tens here. So that's that's what the exploding dots is about, all right? So that's its place value. <clears throat> so if I wanna create 579, all I have to do, a nice quick way to do that, <laughs> is you click on a dot, and then you just press the C key for copy. So two, three, four, five, I now have five hundreds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, I now have seven tens. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, I now have nine ones. So I've just built 579 right here. Now, dividing by four, what does that mean? Well, that means, there's a couple of meanings for dividing by four. It could mean I'm taking 579 and separating it into uh, five separate, uh, four separate buckets. But in this case, I wanna create groups of four. That's the other definition of division. All right, so what does that look like? So taking a look at our hundreds, I have five hundreds, I could definitely make a group of four. So I'm gonna create a group of four, and I was only able to make one group of four. So therefore, my current answer so far is I was only made able to make one group of four in the hundreds column. Now, what am I gonna do with this extra hundred? Well, I'm gonna cash it in. So I'm gonna explode that 100 for 10 tens, and I now have 17 tens. And that's definitely enough tens to make groups of four. So let's do it. I'm gonna do a group of four. I'm gonna do a group of four, and it doesn't matter which groups of four I'm grabbing, I'm just grabbing groups of four. And another group of four. Oops, that wasn't a group of four. Now it's a group of four. <laughs> there we go. So I was able to create four groups of four in my tens column. So four groups of four tens in my tens column. And then I have that one 10 left over. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna cash that 10 in for 10 ones. So it's gonna explode. Now I already have nine ones over here. So that's gonna give me 19 ones. And now all I have to do is start creating my groups of four. There's a group of four. There's a group of four. 
there's a group of four, there's one final group of four with a remainder of three, so I was able to create four groups in the ones column with a remainder of three. So there we go. So now we're gonna go backwards and oh, we're gonna start it fresh again, only this time as I'm doing the dots, we're gonna also look at that standard algorithm at the exact same time. So I'm gonna clean up my screen. All right, and now, there we go. Now that I am <clears throat> back to our original screen, we're gonna do this again, only this time I'm also going to record that standard algorithm to the right. It's gonna look a little different because I, I have a different way I like to do it. I think it makes more sense for kids, so let's do it. All right, so we're taking a look at the hundreds. I'm gonna make a group of five, uh, four. There, there we go. So what did I do? I made one group in the hundreds column. I have one left over, so I, I used up four. I had one group, I used up four, I have one left over. So what are we gonna do with this one extra dot? Well, this extra dot, I'm gonna cash him in for the tens. Now, I already have seven tens, so this is gonna give me 17 tens. So what does that look like over here in this algorithm? I'm gonna take this one, I cash him in for, seven, for an additional 10, so we now have 17 tens in the tens column right there. All right, so now let's create our groups of four. Let's one group of four, another group of four, another group of four, another group of four. So what did I do? I made four groups of four using 16. I have one left over. So what am I gonna do with that one that's left over? I'm gonna cash him in. And what does that do? Well, that gives me 19 ones because I already had nine ones. I bring over 10 more because I cashed it in. I now have 19 ones and I'm now ready to start pulling out my groups of four. Group of four, group of four, a group of four, a group of four, and then I'm done. So what do we do? Well, I was able to make four groups of four using up 16. That gave me three left over. So my answer is 104 remainder three. I like to bring the one up because rather than dropping the seven down, it just makes more sense for kids to, to recognize that, well, what they're doing is they're taking that 10 and cashing it in to make 17. And so let's, why drop the one, seven? We never dropped the seven. What did we do? We cashed in the 10. So the, I am literally showing in, showing that we cashed in the 10 rather than dropping the seven, all right? Or dropping the nine. And so that's it. And so folks, that is uh, using Mathagon Polypad and the Exploding Dots system to teach long division.